figure I'd do some talking about the Grave Digger while I try to do something cool. So it's got a castle motor in it. I'm wanting to say it's like a 3600. So we're running 3S, 5000 milliamp hour. The only thing I've done to it other than change the motor is put a different steering servo on it, a servo saver. Put a hot racing one on there, aluminum. Other than, oh, and I put a sway bar in the front, front end too. Trying to help it handle a little bit better. Of course, I'm the wrong person to make it handle better. It's got enough power, you could probably launch it out of here easy. Let me get set up. Maybe I can pull. I can jump over that little gap. kind of cool I guess that was only like not even hardly quarter, quarter throttle I got about half is the most I got out of that one ah, let me go get that This has been such a fun truck to drive. Really, even with my poor, pathetic driving skills, it's been handling pretty good. Yeah, I couldn't even get, <laughs> it just burned the tires up there. Oh, bad driving again. Let me go get that. So I got to thinking. The other thing that I've done is I put uh, a little bit wider hexes on it. So I'm thinking 12 millimeter. So I made the truck a little bit wider. And that was mostly because when you would turn it sharp, the front tires would get into the, the lower control arms, lower four length. thing was putting black marks down earlier. Let's see if I can get to do it again. Put a black mark down and then slam it into the wall over there. A little bit. Let's go hit the dirt. I always like trying the hill climbs. We'll just listen to the castle work now. driving all right a little bit of magic it's back on its wheels i'm gonna try going all the way to the top right over here let's see if we can get it it's pretty steep up at the top oh i almost had that i never had that i never had my monster truck we're gonna get it we're gonna get it. <laughs> right, here we go. Uh oh. Something went snap. I heard something grinding. Oh, yeah. Looks like I blew the rear pinion out on it. We'll take it over to the truck and look at it. So, something. There it is, yeah. I can feel it in the rear diff.
Well, that sucks. That might be the first major thing I broke on this thing. So, there's the hot racing steering servo I put on it. I did have to put a new front drive shaft in it. I actually, I actually broke that. So, that was a surprise. Now it looks like we have to venture in the rear end of it. So, I guess I broke the diff somehow. So I'll get into that tonight. See what it was. Hopefully it's something simple. Maybe, I don't know. I have no idea what it could be. I'll probably hit a forum just to see what people are saying. I'm probably going to find out this is a great truck's weakness or something. I don't know. But as far as a weakness for me, that thing has not been a weakness. I don't know how many times I've jumped that thing, landed it full throttle. That's that's owner abuse, what broke on it there. So, we'll get home, we'll tear it down, we'll see what it looks like inside, and I'll share what I found. Like Roscoe Pico Train would say, good news, good news. We broke the drive shaft. So, I've got another one of those I can put in. I took the rear diff off, it looks okay in there. So hopefully I can just replace this, and I don't have to worry about replacing this. Well, I had another drive shaft. I'm trying to see if we can find where this one's broke at. Right there. You can kind of see the crack. So I got, I had another one sitting in the spare parts bin. This is the center part, which I think it's still good. But I found another center part that's a little bit longer. And I'm going to put that in there. And my thinking is maybe that will just give it more in there to grab onto and make it stronger. It still has plenty of room for travel. And I kind of did the same thing on this drive shaft. This one broke. It did the same thing. It just cracked. So I put a longer one of these in. And also then I, I think I made this one a little bit longer too. Because I think before it was like right over in here. And it's still got plenty of travel. I mean when I bottom it out, that's when it's bottomed out. And I think it still even has just, just a slight little bit of movement in it. So basically we're going to do the same to the back. So let me do some magic. And I'll just throw these parts on. And it's on there. And still plenty of travel. See? Still got a gap in there. So that part's a little bit longer. So hopefully, in theory, in my mind, that might make this piece a little bit stronger. Maybe I should have went with a piece that was a little bit longer, but I don't want to get into the travel part of it.